when you focus on the breath, really stay with the breath. Try to be as fully sensitive and fully aware of the breath as you can. Try to fill your whole awareness with the breath. Because if there's any empty spaces left over, other thoughts can slip in. Either thoughts from within or things that you hear from without. They move in on the mind and then gradually they take that little crack in your awareness and they widen it and widen it and then they move in and they take up residence. So you have to make sure that your mind is filled with the object of your meditation. If you're going to be thinking Bhutto, think every cell in your body is yelling out Bhutto, Bhutto. If you're staying with the breath, every cell in the body is participating in the breath. Every atom of your awareness is focused on the breath. Even though there may be sounds and other things coming in from outside, you don't have to pay attention to them. You know they're there, but you don't have to focus on them. You can just stay right here. Because the mind is left wide open and empty, anything can move in. Someone once asked a John Fleuring that the whole point of meditation is to make your mind empty, right? And he said, no, if you make your mind empty, it's like leaving the door to your house open. Anybody can come in. So you try to fill your awareness with the breath, fill your awareness with Bhutta, whatever your topic is. That's, what meant, what, that's what's meant by singleness of preoccupation. It's that one preoccupation that has all your attention. And if you find a little part of your attention wandering off, well, just bring it back in and weave it back into the breath, weave it back into Bhutto. That way everything gets nicely tightly wound here in the present, not tight in the sense of being heavy or constricting, but like a, a cloth that's tightly woven. Things can't slip through. Only the finest things can slip through. And what you want to stay here is have the, have here is that sense of being protected, being totally involved in the breath. There's lots to study in the breath. There's the breath going in different parts of the body. Have you ever looked at the breath in your toes, the breath in your fingers, the breath in the joints, the breath in your bones? There are all kinds of places where you can look into the breath sensation and see how it's flowing, to see how you can make it flow better. There's lots to engage you here. Just learn how to put down everything else and get fully involved right here. You don't have any other responsibilities right now. There's nothing else you think have to think about, nor else you have to go. Just stay right here with the breath. Be fully aware of the breath and let the breath fill your, fill your awareness. And that's when your mind is safe from all the, the burdens and other things that we eat away at it, all the burdens you carry around, all the germs of thoughts that would eat away at your mind. You don't leave any room for them at all. And that way you can establish a state of mind in the present moment that feels really settled, really secure, really solid. And that's what gives energy to the mind and energy to the body. So try to have that sense of total awareness, totally alert, totally engaged in your meditation object. Then you find it will make a total difference in your meditation. <laughs>